Everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. We've got a Walmart video for you today. We may have a second upload later for Shohei Sunday, but for today, we're checking out Walmart. It's a stock day. The shelves will be loaded with baseball cards. We're gonna spend about $300 on cards here. We're gonna open them all up in this video. So here it is, the loaded section. The stock person had been here probably just an hour or two ago. I did go kind of a little bit later, kind of at dusk, as you saw there by the setting sun. But take a look at all the basketball just just overflowing the shelves. Remember when you couldn't even find a blaster box of ba basketball anywhere? It's just all over the place. And those will sit there probably all week long as well. I think those Chronicles boxes in the top left have literally been there for months. Next up, we've got the baseball boxes here. Those mystery tins are new. It's a brand new with five packs mystery tin. We saw similar mystery tins before featuring 2021 Bowman Jumbo packs, at least an opportunity at them. And uh, let me tell you, these mystery packs are gonna be much better than the last version. I'll show you, actually we're opening everything up in this video, so you'll see. And we've got Bowman blasters on the shelves for the first time since like, what, April 26th or something like that. So it's nice to see those back again. We've also got, what do we got back here? We've got some mega boxes. We've got some elite extra edition. Down here, we've got some high numbers still on the shelves. We've got Allen and Ginter. They just cannot get rid of Allen and Ginter. And we've got mega boxes of Stars and Stripes. Those are $50 a piece with four autographs in those. I think that might be the first time I've seen those at Walmart. I've previously seen them at Target. And then the clearance box is back. It's back $17 for a blaster box. They've got Gallery. And they've also got Alan and Ginter in there. So we're going to pick up $300 worth of stuff. We're going to go and open it all up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. Tap that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Let's see what we can find. All right, everybody, we're back from Walmart. We've got a pretty nice haul here, about $300, a little over $300 worth of stuff. Here's what we've got. We've got Bowman Blasters, four of them. These are $35 a piece, so about $140 for these before tax. These mystery tins, these are new. This uh, Now, we've seen the same exact tin design before, and uh, before it had a 2021 Jumbo pack on there. I think it said, like, you get two hobby packs or something like that, and they've upped the ante now for... Sealed packs plus one mystery pack, and it also has some 2022 updates. So this is the new version of these. These were $25 a piece. So right there, you're looking at 100 bucks. So we're up to, uh, what, 140 240 This was 50 50 bucks for a mega box of Stars and Stripes. And we've got a clearance box of 2022 Gallery. All together, I think it's 307 before tax. Add in about 20 bucks for tax, 327 all together. Our sponsor for this video is going to be Brian Goodick. So, Brian, let's see what we can find for you in this next episode of What's on the Shelves at Walmart. I was hoping to find some heritage there. I didn't find any heritage. I guess it doesn't really matter because yesterday we did a brand new release preview of heritage. So, you can check that out. I did blaster boxes and fat packs for you. We're going to get things started with a mystery tin for Brian. By the way, I'd like to remind you, we've got an auction coming up tonight, and it's going to be amazing. It's Jack Holland stuff. He sent four flat rate boxes filled with stuff. I opened one for just kind of a sneak peek in our live stream last night in the Box Wars, and literally the entire box was filled with nothing but game-used relics, and that's just one of the four boxes. I haven't opened the other four yet. Let's see what we have in the tin here. All right, so we're going to have a different selection of packs than what we're used to, which is nice. Look at this. So the price point on this, once again, is going to be 25 bucks. We have a UK pack. We've got a Prism Fat Pack in there. We've got a Nippon Baseball League pack. And only one of those, instead of like three out of the five or four out of five being a Nippon Baseball League. So that's uh, that's not a bad start right there for 25 bucks. That's actually, uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not displeased with that whatsoever. This right here, what, what do these cost? These 18 card packs, these prison packs were crazy expensive. I want to say this pack alone may have been $20 or something like that. These fat packs, they were ridiculously priced. Let's go ahead and start with this. This is all the, uh, the overstock. How are they getting rid of all their extra stuff? Well, they're putting them in these mystery boxes. That's the MJ Holding Company. So good luck, Brian. Let's see what we can find for you. So I may, right now, I might say this might actually be worth it going out there and picking up one of these mystery boxes. We'll see if the packs are different in each of them. 
Here's the next one up. And you can let me know in the comments if you think that these are worth it. Alec Bohm, rookie card in there. Jonathan Stever, nothing going on in that pack. Next we've got, let's get the Nippon Baseball League pack out of the way. I guess technically it's a hobby pack. I can't read any Japanese, so I don't know if there's an H on there or not. But I don't think there's autographs inserted in here, but there are a chance of, hey, there's Adam Jones. Look at that. Adam Jones, remember him with the Orioles for all those years? He went over to Japan. Got a nice contract. And uh, I don't know if he's still playing over there or not, but that's pretty cool. Recognizable name. Jerry Sands, another recognizable name. Jerry Sands played for the Dodgers and the Pirates. He was a big slugger, but never really uh, translated to the big leagues. Here's a, this is a blaster box pack of Alan Ginter from 2022. Nothing going on there. UK, that's a hobby pack. From 2022. Got Nick Plummer in there. And unfortunately, nothing crazy in there. There's Jared Kelnick and Spencer Torkelson rookie card. Here's the last one of this first. And I'm hoping, hoping there's some differentiation between the packs and we get some different, different packs. 2022 update, a very good pack. Gives you a shot at the J-Rod rookie card, Bobby Witt Jr. rookie card, Spencer Torkelson, Hunter Green, and a whole bunch of others. All right, here's the next one. It says includes hobby packs, fat packs, and value packs. That last one, it had it all. It had a hobby pack. It had a, I guess, a fat pack. I don't know, maybe, I don't know what, the, what a value pack is considered. Here we go with this next one up, another prism. So two prism packs. And is this going to be exactly the same? That's the big question. It's not. A little bit of differentiation here. We have a Series 2 pack, and we also have a Platinum Anniversary pack again. We get a Prism pack. I'm, I'm tempted to go back, maybe do a search, Jab's Family Prism new release video to see what these went for, retail review. I want to say, you know, you'd think they'd be 10, but I, I feel like they're like something like double that price. 2021 Panini products were all way jacked up in price. They were 35 per blaster. And I want to say these were right around. There's a Brent Rooker rookie card. Having a great season with the A's. Frank Thomas there as well. Next one up. So over $300 worth of cards here. And uh, no crazy hits yet. If we're going to get any hits, our best chance of finding them. Now we do have guaranteed hits coming out of the Stars and Stripes Mega Box, but our best chance is going to be out of Bowman. I'm hoping for one autograph from Bowman. We'll see what happens. Let's do the Platinum Anniversary. That is, it's considered a hobby pack, but it could be a hobby light pack. You never know. I guess we'll be able to tell if there's the mini diamond cards in there. It would be a, a light pack, Tom Seaver Refractor. Nippon Baseball League card coming up next. So maybe, maybe MJ Holding Company saw my complaints and everyone else's complaints about their previous mystery tins and how crappy they were and uh, made them a little bit better. It's definitely five packs with some nice ones in there. Not too bad. There's Paul Goldschmidt. Upside down, Willie Peralta. We have a gold card right there. We'll get that sleeved up for Brian. Got Mitch Hanniger, stars of MLB, and nothing else going on. Let's, should we do another one or should I get into Bowman? We'll do another one. Might as well stay with it. Let's see what we have in this next one. By the way, Team Break Tuesday is filling now. If you'd like to grab a spot in Team Break Tuesday, it's coming up in just two days. And we have, we're giving away a Ricky Henderson PSA 7 rookie card to somebody in that break. Back again, the same same kind of format as box number one with the UK, the 2022 update, along with the Nippon Baseball League and Allen and Ginter. I've been seeing these in the clearance section. They cannot move Allen and Ginter. This Wander Franco rookie card. Nice. Get that one sleeved up. UK Wander Franco. These have just been sitting there for months. No one's touching them. So what they probably do is they send back the blasters that are unsold. And look at this. We have a hit coming up. It's a framed John Smoltz. Nice. We'll take it. Congratulations, Brian. A Hall of Famer, John Smoltz. Framed, game-used jersey card. Very, very nice. So we got one hit. Awesome. 
That's probably what happens. They send the blaster boxes back, they rip them open, take the packs out and put them in these mystery boxes. That's one way they can get rid of the stuff. The other option is just drop the price. Put them in the clearance section. Associate so Zocar Blue. And for, gee, for years, when I first started the channel back in 2016, all the way to 2018, and even, 20, yeah, even 2019, there was always a yellow box that said clearance on it at Walmart. And what they would do is they would take the boxes that did not sell and they would just dump them in there and they would be 40% off. So back then the blasters used to cost $20 a piece. So 40% off of 20 would be what? Like $8 off or something like that. So you'd be able to get a blaster for like 12 bucks, 12 50. So always a pretty nice deal. Nothing going on there. Now the blasters are back in that clearance section. They've got the, this new low price on it, seventeen dollars. So that is, you know, that's discounted a little bit. Those were twenty five, I believe. So seven dollars off. Seven into twenty five is what roughly, not quite four, not a little over three. So one and three and a third or something like that. I don't know, but they're. I like probably about 40% off. Let's get back into our mystery tin, our final one. Unfortunately, most of the stuff that you're going to find in those clearance bins are going to be stuff that people don't really want. Man, so many prism packs, by the way. So lots and lots of prism. And the only thing that's changed between these four packs has just been the... Swapping out the update for a Series 2 and swapping out the UK for a hobby pack of Platinum Anniversary, which I'm looking forward to that. It'll be coming out again. The 2023 version of it should be on the in the hobby stores, I think, mid to late June. So we'll get some new releases coming out soon. There's Anthony Rizzo, headlined by Series 2 of Tops, which is coming out June 7th. I'm looking forward to that. I've got currently 15 cases that I've ordered, so we'll be breaking a bunch of that for Team Break Tuesdays and Box Wars and all that good stuff. Let's see if we can find in this Series 2 pack. Hoping for a short print. We don't get one, though. Also, I'm thinking about maybe if it sells out. It's about half sold out right now. I This morning, I put for sale a Shohei Sunday edition. Breaking open a Jumbo box of 2018 update looking for Shohei Otani and also Ronald Acuna Jr. and Juan Soto rookie cards and hopefully finding a parallel. If that sells out, I'll do that for you tonight and we'll have a double upload day. But I'm taking the kids out miniature golfing and golf cart, or not golf cart, go-kart riding today. So I want to get this video filmed before we leave. So maybe when I come back, if those other spots are sold, we'll do it. If you'd like to grab those spots, they're on sale right now on Patreon. Nothing in that one. Here's this bonus pack with the red, white, and blue parallels. Got Luis Castillo right there. Reese Hoskins. Zach McKinstry, rookie card. Having a pretty good year. Just check the stats. He's hitting 291 as of right now. And moving on. Let's do the Bowman. Four of these. Hopefully we can find some stuff. This was actually the first time in over a month that I've actually seen Bowman on the shelves. I went there on stock day, so I got lucky. But on the other days that I've been into Walmart, I've also gone on stock days and just have not been seeing this. Bowman Blasters are loaded more than any other configuration of 2023 Bowman. So people are grabbing these because you can buy a few blasters and do better than you would in a $300 hobby box. You'll see, we'll see right now. We got four of these. Again, we paid $140 for the four. Which is about half the price of a blaster. I bet you we get at least two numbered cards. And we may even get an autograph. Let's see if we get lucky or not. Last night we had, I think, seven autographs in one case of Bowen Blasters. And we did our Box Wars. Which is pretty good. The highest I've pulled has been nine from a case. The lowest I've pulled has been three. We've been opening these blaster cases pretty much every week. As they are, you know, fun to open. There's Colson Montgomery Lunar Glow. Unfortunately, this first box just has mostly just base along with the chromes. Nothing too crazy in there. And no Drew Jones. Let's go on to the next one. Box number two for Brian. Tomorrow will be Mystery Box Monday for Memorial Day. Looking forward to that. I've got a couple left over from last week I didn't get to sitting here. We'll get to those. And then some other ones. And once again, big auction tonight. The Jack Holland 
this is, I think, the fourth auction we've run for him. And all of his stuff has been great. So if you have some time to check in and check it out, we'll probably go live. I'd like to go live starting at 8.30 because last week when we did Jack Holmes stuff, we had to divide it into two nights because it was so good and there's so much stuff. So maybe we'll just do a nice, I don't know, four-hour spot or however long, is it, long it takes. We have a numbered card, sure enough. It's going to be Xavier Isaac, numbered to 250, purple first Bowman. That is a nice one. Let's see if we can get an autograph now. We got Edward Julian. He's in the big leagues. First Bowman, Eddie Julian, Lunar Glow, and there's some paper. And we have Jet Williams. So in that blaster box alone, two numbered cards, 206 out of 399 on the Lava Flow. That is pretty awesome. Again, you can buy... I've opened hobby boxes before where I've gotten one or two numbered cards in the breaks before. So already that, that one box doing pretty well, at least for the numbered cards. And you also get a Lunar Glow in every blaster box. We opened a couple jumbo boxes yesterday in the Saturday Showdown and only found one Lunar Glow. Sounds like the kids are dragging the... Uh, we've got a chair up there with rolling wheels on i need to just throw that in the trash because i feel like every time i go do a video someone goes and sits down and it likes to roll around the kitchen so sorry about that background noise jackson holiday is the back of this next one we got natalie rushman and another numbered card it's going to be a spotlight 54 out of 125 of oswaldo peraza very very nice and let's see what else we have, there's a Lunar of Die and Jorge. And anything else in the Drew Jones? We'll take the Drew Jones Chrome card. Brian, congratulations on that one. There's the Spotlight card of Lazaro Montes. No autograph in any of these three. For so three on the autographs, but plenty of numbered cards. We've got one more shot here at an auto for Brian. Then we have the Stars and Stripes are going to give you some hits for sure. It's a mega box. So there's going to be four guaranteed autos or relics in there. Probably I'm going, to, I'm going to guess three autos and one relic. One of them might be a combination auto relic. Last one for Brian. So I don't know if you found Heritage near you. Uh, supposedly, from what I've heard, Heritage was stocked at Target this week, but not Walmart. So if you're near Walmart and you didn't find any 2023 Heritage, it'll likely be on the shelves this coming week. All right, Brian, let's see what we can do here in your last one. Hey, that's a pretty nice run of rookies right there. Rushman, Cor uh, Corbin Carroll, and Christopher Morell. Very nice start to the box, although they're all paper. Spotlight card there of Jackson Chorio, it looked like. See the Lunar Glow coming up. Michael Harris is there. And it is going to be, actually, we have a lava flow first. Angel Janeo, numbered 206 of 399. Lots of numbered cards in the blaster. Zach Jeloff, Lunar Glow. Unfortunately, no autograph in those four for Brian. So we move ahead to the Stars and Stripes. Let's get some autographs. This is different. Looks a little different to me than the mega box that was the Target. The Target mega box that I picked up two weeks ago was all white on the front. This one all blue. So this is the Walmart version of this. I figured we'd pick it up just to see if it's any different. Probably going to be the same. I think the hits are the same. You get 10 cards per pack. Grand total of six packs per box. And you're going to find four autos or relics in the Stars and Stripes. So let's see what we can find. Looking for Dylan Cruz. who's likely to be the number one pick in the draft. And also Ethan Holiday. Those are the big names in this. Nothing going on first pack. Kind of a dud. Let's go on to the next one. John Short. This is a would be a fun product to open up, put on the shelf for a couple years, and then go back and see. You probably recognize most of, most of the names after a few years. Alexander Mercurius is numbered out of 200. It's a, an auto and a relic. Cade Bentley's not numbered. Paul Skeens is, might be the number two overall pick. That's a good one. Next one up, and then we'll see if we get anything out of our clearance box. We've got Michael Torres, 
Relic Auto from the National Development Team. These cards are nice looking for being unlicensed and no, basically no logos. I guess you get, do get the Team USA logos. Pretty nice job by Panini. I'm really interested to see what they're going to do with 2023 Donruss, which is coming out in about a week or so. Without There's Dylan Cruz. Nice refractor right there. And another Dylan Cruz. We'll get that sleeved up. I hope the Pirates take him. Pirates have the first overall pick in the draft. Again, for the second out of the last three years. Two years ago, they took uh, Henry Davis, and he's been tearing up in double A. Third auto, three for three on the autographs. That's a Hudson White autograph. And another Dylan Cruz. Very nice. Down to our last pack here. And then we have the gallery box coming up. Let's see. All right. So we have Sheo and Lin, and that's going to be our one relic. Nice design on it in the background. I don't think it's numbered, though. I don't see any numbers. Cool card. And that'll do it for the Mega Box. It's 50 bucks. You're probably better off, honestly, buying a Hobby Box where you get seven hits. That's a little more. I think they're about $75. It's the cheapest I've seen them. Um, that might be the way to go. All right, here's our last box of the video for Brian. You can see that big new low price of $17. It actually rang up at $16.98. So, yeah, it is basically $17. Let's see what we can find from good old gallery from 2022. It's been a while since we've opened any gallery products. Usually I pass on gallery when I see it. And I guess so does everybody else, or it wouldn't be in the clearance bin. The Gallery Mega Boxes, or actually the Monster Boxes with the two autographs is where it was at for Gallery. The Blaster Boxes, a little bit tougher to pull anything good out of these. Do you have a shot at the, the good 2022 rookies or the, you know, they were good. Although, they're starting to bounce back. We're seeing J-Rod starting to heat up a little bit, getting that average up there. A lot of those guys mired in sophomore slumps this year, Bobby Witt Jr. included. Spencer Torkelson has been in the slump since he's been in the big leagues. Although he did have a hit yesterday, drove in a run. Not a lot of power from Tork. All right, here we go. Last spot, last pack, last box of the video. Let's see if we can get something. Hey, we've got a stained glass gallery of heroes. All right, we'll take that one. What are the odds on that? Finding a Gallery of the Heroes cards. Let's see here. Gallery of Heroes. I don't I haven't opened much of this, so I can't remember. Gallery of Heroes. One in five hundred and thirty-two or something like that. It says it right there. It's tough to see. One in five. See it right there, right in the middle? Right about there. One in five hundred and thirty-two. And it's Beau Bichette. Who is very, very underrated. Bobuchet hitting like 335 right now. I love Bobuchet. That's a cool card right there. Stained glass. That was worth it. That card alone. For me, I, I would I would take that card any day in my blaster box. Got a next wave of Torkelson. We'll sleeve that one up for you, Brian. Some printer proof cards in there. Those aren't really numbered and not really worth all that much. I think you may have a green coming up. And got a retro modern artist card there, Spencer Torkelson. And we have a green foil modern artist. It is numbered to 250 of Raphael Devers, so that's pretty cool. Not a bad box for $17. And there you have it. That is the $300 plus dollar haul from Walmart. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Again, if, uh, if we sell out that 2018 Jumbo box tonight, currently there's five spots left. We sell that out tonight. I'll bust that open and we'll have a double upload day for you. Otherwise, I will see you tonight in the live auction. Jack Holland's got great stuff. I hope you can check in and see all the great cards that he's sent in for us to auction off. We go live with those uh, at 8.30. And if you don't catch it live, you won't be able to catch it at all. So make sure you're, you know, if you have time, you can check us out. Anybody that with PayPal is able to bid in the auctions. So if you got PayPal and you want to check out Jack's cards, maybe buy some of them. We do a lot of them in lots too, like maybe like 10 relics at a time. Check it out tonight. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Sunday and a great rest of your Memorial Day weekend. And I will see you all later tonight. Good night, everybody.